I can move oh sorry about that I should have moved this one first so uh, this happens all the time so let's do it again we run and we let it accumulate for a few seconds and and then we stop soon stop all right so let's do it again so now we can move this the cursor so you see this blue bar moving around this screen so let's select the first point here an average a rough average of this area let's select the second point so you can click here and now you can select the second one so we select here on this peak and then you can get the delta t 356 microseconds so this is the dead time of this detector so there's another way to measure that we will do later in the class it's called the two source method and you can we have this source here that was broken into or divided into two and for that we use this holder that fits well there so the idea is to measure one source and count the number of of events so you measure the number of events for one source then you measure for another source this source a so it's set in the same place uh, and after measuring and writing the number of counts then you measure the second source and after you measure the number of counts you can just use the formula that you have on your notes and then you can compare calculate the dead time using the two source method with the dead time use the using the stever method